Who wants to learn QuickBooks? I don't hear you. A little louder. Want to learn QuickBooks? Watch these videos. And welcome back to the last video of the first series of these QuickBooks tutorials. Uh, for the basics from the setups to the payables to the receivables to the banking and now we're at reports yes we're here you guys made it we're almost done we're almost there quickbooks 2014 the hot doggers so we're going to go to reports the first report that everybody loves is profit and loss because this is where you get to see if you made or lost money however keep in mind you have a lot of different reports you can browse through over here and you will need different reports at different times to pull up different information. But the number one go-to, especially for taxes, you know, at the end of the year, you need your profit and loss for taxes. It is actually the, kind of the tax season right now, you guys. So uh, you guys should know what I mean. And so you can have so many different options over here of choosing last year, this month. Under customized report, usually defaults to accrual. Most businesses are on cash versus accrual, which means that you count everything for money coming in and out right now and not um, things from a carried over. So another little ninja trick over here is edit. Well, I'm going to cancel here. Edit, preferences, reports, company, change it to cash. Yeah. We're going to refresh. Well, actually, I got to get out of here first. Reports, company, profit and loss. You see how it's cash now? Yes. And so under the customized report, you have different things that you can do from filtering out different things. There's so much you can go into. Uh, you just really do it, once again, as you need. If you don't need it, keep it simple. Just have your report this, this fiscal month. Or let's look at last month. And so here shows our income, return check charges, remember that. Cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold means that you sold some stuff. This is telling you how much your actual cost was, okay? Um, and so gross profit, 9243. This, uh, this is how much you brought in gross, okay? Expenses, it's telling you over here you paid $7 for the bank. Telephone was for office, right? There goes that subcategory, 150 And we made $9,000 for this month. You could also memorize this report if you like this style report and it's uh, going to memorize the settings. Okay, so that's one thing you can do. Um, and as I mentioned, you can customize it. Another uh, uh, important report to look at is your aging. This is uh, to show you uh, what money is owed out there to you. And you can see what's past due. But as you remember under customer income tracker, we kind of had that uh, feature which I like this much better. So don't feel like you have to go to the tr uh, traditional reports as with 2014 they've put different tools around for some quick reporting. And I'll make it a little bit easier for you. Okay. Uh, the other report, which is a standard, is your balance sheet. Uh, this is one of the reports that you definitely have to show when you're an uh, S Corp. You have to file it with your. Uh, but if, if you're a sole proprietor, you don't have to file it. However, it's still good to look at. What it comes down to is your assets, which is you know, what you own versus liabilities, which is what you owe. And it kind of gives you an idea of where, where you're at. On uh, You know, we got this much money in the bank. We have this much money that's owed to us. We have this much inventory on hand. However, this is what we owe. We owe 77. And uh, this is your equity over here. There you have it, total liabilities and equity. And so this is really something more for your CPA. It's not something you're going to fiddle with a lot. You don't have to break your head a whole lot with. But uh, if you can kind of learn, understand what's going on with these numbers and your business, then that's going to help you. So we're going to wrap it up with this. 
I feel like this is a good start for you guys uh, to break into QuickBooks, understand the basics. There is a little bit more to it. It can be a little bit overwhelming in the beginning, especially if you've never done it. However, if you have questions, visit our website. Pop in a question in the, one of the comment sections and uh, we'll be more than happy to uh, try to help you guys out, okay?